Under the table nodes, you'll see every table listed, and under the tables, a plethora of different options. For example, here is every column. You'll see the ones that are primary keys with a gold key, foreign keys with a dull looking key. And we'll just select one of these and open up properties. And this tells you a number of things about the column. For example, the data type. Is it a primary key? Does it allow nulls? Is it a computed? Identities? And again, we're going to talk about a lot of this information as we go through this series. The Keys node gathers together just the columns that are keys, so you can see information there. A trigger is a small snippet of code, like a stored procedure, that is fired by some kind of action on the database, such as an insert, update, or delete. There's a lesson on triggers coming up later on. Indexes are listed here. There's a clustered index and non-clustered index. We're going to get into a lot of detail about indexes toward the end of the series. And statistics, which is how SQL Server knows which index is important. You can see the statistics here listed. So that's the information available underneath a table. Go ahead and close tables, give us some more room. A view is a saved query that can be used in place of a table. And there's this lesson coming up on views later on, so I'm not going to talk about them very much detail right now, other than to say some people love views, some people hate views. Either way, I'll show you how to use them correctly. A synonym is an alias for any other object if you want to give it an easier name or a nickname or something like that. Like tables, there's a lot of detail under programmability. Specifically, here you'll find every stored procedure, user-defined function, database-wide triggers, CLR assemblies, and other rules and defaults that are left over from compatibility levels from previous versions of SQL Server. Service Broker, which is new to SQL Server 2005, allows you to build high-performance work queues. And here's where you can see the message types, contracts, and queues that you've set up, as well as routes and services for Service Broker. Looking at storage, if you remember back when we talked about the database properties, that's where we set the files and the file groups, which you would normally think of as storage. But the storage node here is used to define full text catalogs and partition schemes, which is useful for splitting up huge tables, say billion row tables, into smaller partitions to make maintenance easier. And the security node contains information about users, roles, setting up different schemas, which are owners of sets of objects, certificates, and keys for data encryption. This is where database security is maintained.